okay if you are looking to find out whether when you move and try and expand into another city whether you should keep your existing website and just add more pages or whether you should start a new um, website altogether this is one of the biggest mistakes I see with service businesses. They cut corners <clears throat> and it costs them. And when you use a bit of common sense, and as one of my expressions is, common sense isn't that common, um, you learn that um, it's not the best way to go. So if you're a business service business owner and you want to know which is the best way to go when you're expanding into another city, this is the video for you. I'm gonna show you step by step um, some of the things and some of the pitfalls that uh, I see. This has happened today, so I thought I'd just make a video on it and it's like a case study. First of all, uh, this company's been in um, City A for uh, quite a number of years, doing well, got a lot of reasonable lot of customers and wants now to move to a new place and um, wants to keep that existing business going uh, but wants to get more business in, in City B. The problem being is that Google see that as a City A website. It's got keyworded for, um, for City A. Um, it's Google My Business is in City A. If we, because what we're trying to do is obviously get started in a new city and, and the best way to do that um, to get leads now. If you need leads now, you need to go through Google Ads um, and there's a range different Google Ads but you need to go to the Google Ads to get Google um, to get uh, leads now but long term you want um, a long term consistent and cheaper uh, lead flow but if we use this particular website and we put a couple of extra pages on for City B the problem is that Google go hang a second you have been in City A and you now want in City B which is quite a number of hours away it doesn't really add up and you're still saying that you're in um, uh, in in city A, we could put a Google My Business to City B as well, and that would confuse even more. So um, it doesn't really matter about the Facebook or Instagram, but certainly Google My Business and the website and it's keyworded, it just confuses things. So we're going to set up some ads, and it's um, we have a four uh, uh, we have a four. Um, step process and the website is the last thing we do because um, and I'll show you why the first thing is when you lead, need leads now are you within the next week or two is to get Google Ads set up so we've got Google Ads set up we've got three different campaigns we're going to be running um, and we've got the Google Analytics which is important um, and we've got the, the three pages. It's important, we, we, these are like sales pages, they're not really exactly web pages, they're highly converting um, sales pages, um, but we've mixed them up as a type of website page. It's, it's, it's a hybrid of the two, um, and there's a difference between a sales page and a normal web page. <clears throat> anyway, the other important thing to do is if you are um, got a, a particular product or service, that page that it leads to, it needs to have or talk about that service completely. We do not want to send it to the home page and um, then people have to click to the second page. This page here should be all about, I'll take these links out actually, um, that it should be all about um, the this particular product service, it should have the frequently asked questions, it should have um, the three common objections that you'd normally get about this product, product one we'll call it, um, it needs, uh, the hero section needs to show a customer uh, enjoying that service and um, the whole thing about that page is just about product one, no other product, because if they've clicked an ad on product one, they only want product one. They don't want to go through your whole website, and that's one of the big mistakes that, again, I see with Google Ads, people put it through the home page and go, oh, find it yourself. <laughs> and people, it's like a maze, most websites. But we put them straight into one. We're going to do one, two, and three, and we're going to build those up. Now, this will start to, um, to take 
uh, fruition. It takes about 14 days for Google algorithms to start working. And then we, of course, we work on um, one of the big, again, things that when service business do their own ads is they think, oh, it's a set and forget. It's nothing can be further from the truth. Um, let's say it's product one and um, it's, um, we'll call it plumbi um, plumbing. Well, let's say it's plumbing jobs somebody puts in. Well, we don't, we're not advertising plumbing jobs, but your ad will come up because it's got plumbing in and it's got the city in, city, city B. Um, so uh, we need to do what we call a negative word. So we need to put the negative words down, things that we don't want to, um, plumbing magazines, plumbing jobs, plumbing training, plumbing um, whatever um, we don't want. We need to tell Google we don't want our ad to come up for that. And then obviously there'll be things that we do want. Um, we've already put the keywords in, um, but this is the, the most crucial bit and where you waste so much money. Anyway, so those are the three campaigns. That'll get the, the, the leads coming in now and get some cash in and get some people in that particular city. But we can't, we, we need to house those pages and we, we could have put them on that page there in City A, but it would have confused Google. So what we've done is we've built a separate website at City B and we've put a Google My Business at City B, the, a, a home page and some, um, some, um, the um, privacy policy and terms and conditions because Google needs to see that. Um, so that is all about City B. Now this a website won't get you, um, the amount of business owners I tell them, oh, they say, oh, we need to build a website and um, I go, what are you trying to do? Oh, I'm trying to get leads. I'm trying to get business established and going. Uh, websites take three to six months to really kick in properly and probably 12 months in a very competitive world like plumbing, electricians, that type of people. You don't just throw a website up. There's 250,000 websites to set up every day. You don't just throw a website up and it starts to be on page one. No way, Jose you've got to build a trust up with Google. So this is more of a three to six month thing in City B. Um, and again, um, Google Maps will start. Uh, we're going to do some things to Google Maps and get some reviews and, and, and sort of get established. But to tell Google we are in City B and we are looking for leads in City B and we've housing the, the sales pages on there. So leads now, leads later. Uh, and that's the reason why you wouldn't put them on the old website. But I see so many companies, I see some very big franchises trying to do it all off while on the website. But 10 different, in 10 different regions, all on the same website. One website can only pull so much. It is better to do a standalone um, website Google my Google Maps, um, feed in some leads, and then over time this will start to this will start to um, Google will see that it's been there a bit longer, um, and they will see that there's reviews coming in. And this is another big area I see that people miss the reviews side of things. Nowadays, um, a lot of businesses owners I talk to, they go, oh, we work on word of mouth. And I go, oh, okay. So uh, you, uh, how, do you, how do you know that they're still talking about you? And how do you know that they're promoting you? Uh, and the, the busy lives that everyone leads today, people haven't got the time to, to ask, people, ask around so much. So Google My Business and the reviews is the word of mouth now. People go to... Uh, and I see this the, a, a really big mistake. Um, you go, and, and business owners do not look, don't seem to look at their Google um, business reviews. People do. If you and I, I'll give you this analogy. Let's say you're going to um, a motel um, and it's in a different city, and you're going to pay two hundred dollars for per night. You've got three lined up. What people are going to do? A good now it used to be sixty percent. It's now eighty percent of people will go and have a look at the reviews. And one, let's say, has got one hundred and fifty reviews, five star, well four point nine, and uh, the next one's got sixty three, four point seven, and the next one's got. 20 or or probably 10 and it's 
I don't know, even if it's four, point, four, four star or five star, it's only 10. This one's got 150. And then what they'll do is read a bit of the good and the, good and the bad. They'll usually go and look at the bad first. Oh, Wi-Fi keeps dropping out, or it was very noisy, or whatever information, and that will put that customer straight off. Um, if you've only got 10, you're probably gonna get ruled out. And a lot of service businesses I go, they've been in business 14 years, they've got seven reviews. It's not gonna cut it nowadays, and it really hampers the whole thing, because if someone comes from an ad, comes to this page and thinks, this is the company, this looks good, they're gonna check your reviews out, and if your reviews don't um, add up, uh, or you have one or two negative reviews in there that really, um, uh, and you don't flush them out with good new, good, um, good lead, um, good reviews, then you've lost that business. It's something you didn't, you don't know. You, 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 your advertising becomes more effective with more reviews. Your um, website becomes more, um, it gives you more leads and is more effective with a good review system. Now, I know what you're thinking, because <laughs> I get this so often. Ah, oh, but what happens if I get bad reviews? Well. Uh, first of all, it's feedback, and it's good to know what people do and don't like. So there's that side of things, but there is a way of filtering um, and getting that feedback, and then putting the good stuff on Google and keeping the good, the other feedback to learn from. Uh, we have a system that allows you to do that, uh, and that is the best way. To, uh, and it gives you confidence. It gives you a confidence in giving out uh, and getting. Um, reviews now a lot of people don't have a system and that's the problem and as I say 80% of people look at the um, look at reviews before they make a decision so we do um, like a Q, QR code system where you can hand these cards out um, with a QR code and you have a review either on the back of your website so you just give the cards out which is on your back of your business card and they can give a review and 60% of people that if you give them a way to review you will review you and you can learn a lot from that and it helps you helps them it helps the other people do, become your salespeople because people will check it out and they and I, I, I can't I can't think of the amount of times that I've gone and looked at a product or a service in in one of these DIY places and there's been three or four really bad reviews on the product I'm not going there anymore I'm learning I don't want to I don't want to find out um, that it breaks very easily or it doesn't this or it doesn't do that I've, I've learned from that and, um, and unfortunately with service business people will check it out Unless it's an absolute emergency, they will go and check you out on reviews. So hopefully that's helped you. And if you're sort of struggling between should I should I add more pages to City A when I'm trying to expand City B? No way. You need to set up a completely separate website. And over time, this will pay dividends because it will take six, three to six months, probably twelve months to establish. Because Google want to see, they check it out and they want to see with how how you run and operate this first before they'll give you. And now, I mean, this one is doing well now, but, but it, it's now a case of getting this one to do well as well. Uh, and the, the Facebook and the Instagram, they're universal. They can come through um, to, to here. It doesn't really matter. They're not so regional or, or based in the cities. Uh, and the other thing you can do is to help your existing site give a bit of credibility is you put an announcement on the on um, City A's website saying you've opened a branch in City B, and one of the things Google like is links. Uh, links help get more help your rankings. I won't go into that because that's a complete different video. But but again, it gives a bit of kudos to Google. They go, oh yes, that's the company that has, um, they've had a a website for quite a long time in City A and now it's at City B so that it gives a bit more credibility. So that's about it really. Hopefully you've learned from that. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments. If you've not subscribed, uh, if we help basically help service business mainly in New Zealand but also in the UK get more leads for their business. Uh, through a se uh, sequence, as I say, a four-stage um, process. But websites is the last thing. First thing is Google Ads. Second thing is getting the reviews coming in. The third thing I'm not going to even mention because it's on the next video, which is going to appear up here, which is our 70% traffic source that 
has seemed to be forgotten. It was quite big in the 80s, but people seem to have forgotten about it, but it's still very, very crucial. In fact, more crucial today. So that's the third thing. And then the fourth thing is your website. So uh, my name is James Roberts. Click the link somewhere on this, and um, I look forward to helping you.